What if your doctor could save your life without ever stepping into a hospital? A father with a heart failure avoids a second stroke because his wearable sent an alert. A child with an asthma uh, breathes uh, easier because her symptoms were tracked in real time. An elderly woman in a remote village survives uh, an infection because her oxygen levels were monitored daily from home. This isn't fiction. This is telemedicine and remote uh, patient monitoring. And it is writing the rules of healthcare. Welcome to Wellness Health Services uh, Healthcare. I'm Dr. Joshua Derito, a family physician. I have interest in uh, uh, cancer prevention and treatment. In this video, we are going to look at the importance uh, of telemedicine and remote uh, patient monitoring. Let's dive in. What is uh, telemedicine? Telemedicine is uh, equivalent to virtual consultations. Uh, these are diagnostic and follow-up done remotely via your phone or a video or an app. So this is where the doctor is able to talk to you, uh, find out uh, how you are doing and be able to make a diagnosis without you having to go to the health facility. Remote patient monitoring is uh, using connected devices. These are wearables, uh, things like BP monitors, uh, pass oximeters to track the health data from the home of a patient and this is transmitted to the healthcare providers. Uh, there is a connection between your oxygen monitor or even your heart uh, rhythm monitoring and the information is transferred to your doctor and the doctor is able to make a decision based on this. So together, they end, enable the hospital care level uh, from anywhere. So you don't have to go to the health facility to get and access care. Your living room becomes your recovery ward. You are able to take your medicine, you are able to get your prescriptions and able to get your diagnosis from the comfort uh, of your home. And your smartphone becomes your triage nurse. And this is happening. So uh, what uh, are the, is the science behind all this? Uh, the Mayo Clinic uh, COVID-19 uh, a remote uh, patient monitoring study. The remote monitoring uh, uh, study led to 70% uh, lower mortality on COVID patients and it led to fewer hospitalizations and it saved uh, about uh, $1,300 uh, in cost saving per patient. What we are talking about this is you are able to monitor the patient's oxygen levels, you are able to see when the patient is worsening, you are able to advise patients on, on ways they can change various uh, behaviors uh, to get better. Then uh, VA hospital, a uh, home-based uh, model. Uh, elderly uh, veterans were monitored from home with the tablets and wearables. You can be able to monitor their heart rate, you can be able to monitor their heart rhythm. You can even uh, be able to monitor uh, their oxygen levels. And this uh, dropped the hospital visit. Uh, also, the satisfaction to care uh, was more marked with the remote patient monitoring and wearables. And also, lives were extended. Then there was um, the massive hospital fascial care, the hospital without beds. Uh, monitors, uh, monitoring of thousands of patients without uh, needing the patient to come to the health care. And this was done 24-7. Uh, it reduced the admissions and also reduced uh, emergency lo uh, room visits for chronic uh, diseases. What this means, uh, patients at the comfort of their homes, you can be able to monitor their blood sugar, monitor their blood pressure, and they can be able to tell you how they are feeling and you, this uh, brings uh, real care uh, without borders. So you can have a glucose monitor said 
uh, the sugar monitoring uh, uh, leadings to the doctor directly. Uh, pass oximeters are uh, one of dangerous oxygen drops and send this information uh, to your health provider. Uh, Smart watches uh, track your heart rhythm and set uh, warnings uh, if your heart rhythm is changing to your doctor. And also, we have uh, remote uh, patient monitoring platforms at uh, the clinician so that they can be able to take early intervention. Why is this a game changer? Uh, this is uh, because it uh, helps in accessibility. Uh, it reaches uh, patients in rural and other served areas and they can get care. It reduces travel time and we know how much time it takes to get to the doctor's office and how much time it will take uh, in the doctor's waiting room, which could be, you could be seen at the comfort of your time, avoid wage time, and also avoid uh, out-of-pocket cost. Because when you go to the hospital, you have uh, to go wait in the doctor's waiting room, you leave your work, then you have to eat lunch in town uh, because uh, you cannot uh, get back on time. And also, you know, the challenges of traffic jams and also the stress associated with the, all this. Then uh, remote uh, patient monitoring is also helping uh, better manage uh, chronic diseases. Uh, this improves the control of hypertension, diabetes, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, and even heart failure. Because with the, the doctors getting the information directly from the patient, they can be able to adjust uh, the patient medication accordingly. Then mental health uh, support, a uh, virtual therapy where a patient can get uh, mental health care uh, at the comfort of their home and can help also in mood tracking and reduce the stigma and the crisis escalation. Then patient empowerment. Uh, patients become an uh, active participant, seeing the real-time data and they are able to take control of their life and also change their behaviors because they can be able to interpret uh, the information uh, on their own uh, with the assistance from their health providers. So what are the challenges in offering uh, telemedicine and also remote patient monitoring? Uh, connectivity, uh, issues of internet. These are not everywhere and so this can be a challenge. Uh, but many rural areas and low-income countries now, they can access the internet and this could be a possibility and it's something that uh, can be practiced. Uh, privacy, uh, issues of data protection, uh, and especially in the mode uh, monitoring of patients. Then integration of the electronic health records with the uh, insurance billing and also staff training and also catching up. Then uh, tech literacy. Not every patient feels uh, confident using wearables or apps. So these are real but solvable problems that can help us to build uh, telemedicine avenues and also remote patient uh, monitoring and build uh, better health uh, systems. So what is the future of uh, remote patient care? AI-driven uh, remote patient monitoring, predicting uh, hospitalization before they happen. And this can be done uh, by using uh, the wearables. Then smart uh, pill bottles. Uh, you have connected inhalers. Uh, real-time blood pressure analytics, which can be uh, sent to the health pro pro uh, provider. Then be wearable biosensors that can monitor the oxygen changes in your body, uh, changes in temperature, and also helping uh, your health provider uh, adjust your drugs accordingly and possibly start uh, management for an infection before it becomes uh, well-established. Then, uh, first words integrated into mainstream hospitals where patients can be monitored from the comfort of their homes and patient doctors can give them uh, uh, adjustments of their treatment and possibly offer other tests when patients can be seen uh, at the comfort of their home. Uh, you can't uh, wait uh, for symptoms anymore uh, because we are able can be able to detect uh, diseases before they even began. So, the healthcare, the best healthcare system is the one that comes to you when you need it. And this will be able to help patients be able to monitor themselves and get care where they are before it is too late. So, a remote patient 
patient uh, monitoring saves life, uh, telemeds, telemedicine uh, experts access, and virtual care brings real healing. So try this. And the good news at uh, Wellness Health Services, we are now able to offer you uh, virtual care at the comfort of your home. You just need to go to, your, to our website. You can book, book yourself and it will be seen uh, at your convenience by a doctor uh, uh, based on you, your availability and at the comfort of your home, saving the cost of traveling, the time you spend at the doctor's waiting room. Uh, so you can take this uh, advantage. Uh, enjoy the wellness health services, uh, first you care. Uh, you just book yourself at our website and there you get health care at the comfort of your home. So comment below. Would you trust a virtual hospital to care for your loved ones? Subscribe for more uh, health tech, innovation, and impact stories. Share this video to spread the future of care. Uh, coming soon, AI nurses and the virtual courses are the future of healthcare. Thank you for watching. We meet in the next video.